apply operation, simplify. Simplify, apply operation, and then simplify. So let's factor everything out. I'm going to kind of do this quickly because we need to make sure that we can factor. We don't have time to go back over how to factor. This goes into that. Y minus 7 squared in reality is y minus 7 times y minus 7, right? x squared is x times x, so y minus 7 squared is y minus 7 times y minus 7. And then this, I can factor out a 5. And then over here, I can factor out a y. But remember, when we were multiplying, we multiplied straight across, right? Yes? So remember, when we multiply, we just multiply straight across. But when we're dividing, we flip and, or we reciprocate and multiply. So we got to multiply by the reciprocal. So therefore, to show all my work, I'll just rewrite everything on the left side. And then I'll multiply by its reciprocal. Well, you could obviously shorten up some steps. I'm just trying to show every single step so therefore you guys can see. Um, but obviously, you guys could shorten up what I've done. Now, we're multiplying, so we multiply across, and so now we just apply the division property. So we just see what's exactly the same on the numerator and the denominator. And we're left with y over 5. But the constraints is what makes the denominator 0. y cannot equal 0. y cannot equal positive 7. All right, is everybody 